Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Victor Huerta, and on today's real estate show, we are going to switch it up a little bit. I'm not going to be talking too much about first time home buyer topics, financing, or home seller topics. What I'm going to do is start breaking down the cities for you so you can get an overall picture of what's going on in all almost all the cities here in Phoenix, Arizona, the ones that I service only. So on today's show, we're going to break down Levine, Arizona. It is an upcoming area. The new freeway was there. Is there now the Loop 202? We have the Harkins Theater coming in. We have uh, the Sprouts that went up, and they're just building all kinds of stuff right there by the 202. So, in today's video, I'm going to break down Levine, Arizona. Whether you're thinking about buying or selling in that area, let's get the overall view. Uh, overall view, excuse me, overall view of the real estate market right there. So let's go. <laughs> This is where they go for the real estate info. I'm here to lead and help you succeed. One, one thing that you'll learn about me is I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. To get the knowledge to the world when making decisions and buying and selling real estate. Victor Huerta. Remember my name. Okay, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share uh, a tablet with you that has a lot of data. You'll see me on your far right or far left. I don't know which side I'm gonna be on, but let me uh, preview this. Let me send this over right now. So here we are. We are actually going to look at MLS right now. Now this is the same system any real estate agent has that sets up the portal for you when you're looking for a house or sets up a portal uh, for you to give you your comparable analysis when you're thinking about selling your house. So with that being said, let's break this down. Let me show you exactly what I am looking at here right now is you'll see for residential right here. I'm going to scroll down here is we have single family detached. Okay. We're not looking at condos or townhomes or mobile homes right now. You'll see right there by the city is we have Levine, Arizona. Okay. Now price range. Okay. Let me click on this price range right now. We're at zero price range to zero max price range. If you notice right here at the very, very top, it says 25 results. Now that means that we only have 25 listings for sale. Okay. 25 listings for sale. Now with that being said is the, the lowest price range right now is 215,000. So that is your starting point right now. If you're trying to buy a house in Levine, Arizona right now. So I want to break this down to kind of like per surprise points. Okay. So if you're looking, at 250, we're going to click go. You have two options. You only have two options to purchase a house in Levine, Arizona. And those are the two properties that are active for sale right now under 250,000 in Levine, Arizona. Okay. So now let's go back to the price range. We are going to go between 250 and 300,000. One, two, three, go. You have six options. So you got a little bit more pool right there. Buyers pool right now homes on the market for zero. I mean, from 200,000 to 300,000. So these are the homes that are active for sale up to 300,000. Now I'm just going to go all the way up to 400. And you have 12 options. So right now we are in the price range of 250. Oh, hold on. I've got a couple zeros. We are in between 250,000 to 400,000. And these are the options that are available to you to purchase a house in Levine. So as you can see, you only have 10 options. So if you're thinking about buying a house in Levine, Arizona, under 200,000, that is not going to work. Now, these are single family homes, homes. Um, these are not condos. These are, these are not townhomes. These are single family homes. 
houses uh, with three beds, two baths, or it could be two bedrooms or two baths. I'm not too sure. But that's what's actually going on right now. That is how many homes you have available in Levine, Arizona right now. Okay, so I subscribe to something called the Cromford Market Report. Now, these are statistics that come out from um, a certain uh, people, okay, that take, take everything that's happening in the real estate market. I pay a fee to get that information, and then what I do is I translate that information into layman's terms to you so you can see what's going on uh, in the real estate market. Now, we're gonna go over the monthly median sales price. Now, I got my screen here, I got the tablet here. So let me bring in this right away so we can actually go over what's going on and, and tell you exactly what you're looking at. So right here, you're looking at the monthly median sales price. Okay, so we have gone all the way down to 2017, January. You'll see that right below right there, January of 2017, which was 205,000. Okay, this is all Levine, Arizona data. As you can see, if you have bought in a house since 2017, you can see your equity has just skyrocketed all the way till June of 2020. Now you'll see that little dip right there, um, in February of 2020. Well, that was uh, in 2020, that was because the whole coronavirus is coming, right? It's kind of crazy how it did, but look at how high it went back up. So right now we're at 285,000. That is the monthly median residential real estate sales price for June of 2020, 285,000. Okay, now this is all Levine. Uh, we are still, we have condos, mobile homes, um, but we are just focusing on 85339, which you'll see right there, right above my head. Um, but that is the graph of the monthly median sales price. So if you have purchased a house since 2017, you have gained $80,000 worth of equity, pretty much. And I'm pretty sure the price is gonna be a little higher if you decide to list and sell. But that is what's going on as far as the monthly median sales price in Levine, Arizona right now. Okay, the next chart we're gonna get into is the months of supply, okay? So this means that whatever the number is, is no more homes came on the market, we would sell out of inventory homes in that area. So we're concentrating on Levine, Arizona. So right now we have 1.5 months of supply right now. You see that right there, 1.5 months of supply. With that being said, is if no more homes came on the market at all in Levine, Arizona, it would only take 1.5 months to sell everything and there would be zero homes for sale. So with that being said, is it's a high, high seller's market. If you're thinking about buying in that area as a first time home buyer, repeated home buyer, you're gonna have to go all in, okay? There's really hardly any negotiation at all happening in Levine, Arizona, just because the city has it's just coming up with the new freeway, the Sprouts, the theater that's going in. There's so many stores that are going in right there off of 51st and Baseline, right off the 202. Heck, they're even thinking about bringing, a, I think, a Costco and a, a, little, a little shopping center mall there as well. That's gonna depend now with the virus, but right now we're sitting at 1.5 months in Levine, Arizona, and it's still a hot seller's market. Okay, the next chart we're gonna look at is the days of inventory. Now, this means the days of inventory of the average days of inventory of what a house sits on the market to be sold. And you can see is right here to the top left of me, you'll see uh, annual average and running average, okay? So the annual average is supposed to be 55.7 days. You can see that right there, 55.7 days. We are at 22.9 days, meaning that if you are thinking about selling your house, that's kind of the average of what's going on is your house is gonna be pretty much sold in less than 30 days, okay? It'll probably go under contract if it's priced right, shows well, it's clean, um, it's, it smells well, and it's fixed up. It's probably gonna go under contract in the first five days maybe even the first day, and then it's pretty much gonna be sold in 22.9 days. So with that being said, that's all price ranges, okay? All price ranges only in Levine, Arizona. So that is the days of inventory, excluding any uh, UC, UCBs, meaning under contract, accepting backups as an offer. So think about that, folks, is if you notice back here in the day, we were at 127 
0.9 days, and that was in 2011. Uh, we went all the way down in 2012. Then we peaked back up in 2014, which is roughly about 100 days. But if you can see from then, is it started dropping down in November of 2000, um, sorry, August of 2014 is when the dip started happening and it has gone down ever since. So we're looking at 22.9 days. If you're thinking about selling your house there in Levine, uh, you know what to do. All my links are below and just reach out. We could discuss a price and go from there. So buyers, if you're looking to buy in a house in Levine, you're gonna have to go all in. It's still a hot seller's market. Okay, folks, and the final chart that I want to share with you is called the Cromford Market Index. Now, let me explain this to you real quick. Is at 800, this means that no buyer or seller has the upper hand. Anything above 100 is a seller's market. Okay? Anything below 100 is a buyer advantage. So, at 100, it's neutral between buyer and seller. If it's above 100, the Cromford Market Index is above 100, the seller has the advantage. If it's below 100, that means the buyer has the advantage. As you can see here, we are sitting at about almost 250 as far as the Cromford Market Index right there, 250, right at that line. So as you can see is the sellers are still having the advantage over the buyers. So that comes to tell you is if you're looking for a house in Levine and you're thinking about buying a house there, um, your first offer is going to have to be the best offer. And it's just because there is hardly any inventory. Uh, you just want to think about it here is you, you're going over here to Levine to purchase a house, right? Now, let me share this for you. Um, real quick. Okay, it's there. So you're, you're, you're going to go purchase a house in Levine. You only have 10 options. You truly love the house. Why would you want to not put in your best offer? There's not that much kind of selection that you have there in Levine, Arizona, especially if that's the city you want to live in. So I advise all my clients like, hey, is your first offer the best offer because if no more house comes on the market that's going to fit your needs, uh, that you love the floor plan, if you love this house, we need to go all in. And it's not just the sales page, it's just telling the truth. These are the facts. I showed you all the facts and all the charts here in uh, on my tablet. That's the MLS is showing us um, the total number of homes that we have. Let me bring this up again. I'm going to take my face out of it. Is you know The total amount of homes that we have on the market right now is with no price range in Levine, Arizona. Let me hit go. You have, you have, you have 25 options. It's right there. 25 results. That's what you have in Levine, Arizona to purchase right now as far as a, as a, as a home. So let's take a look at the map. That's exactly where we're looking at as far as Levine, Arizona from 215 which is the lowest price all the way up to 849 so with that being said if you're looking to buy in Levine Arizona I know it's tough out there we still got some great down payment assistance programs the FHA limit is three hundred and thirty one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars for three point five percent uh, down if you're gonna go above that you're gonna have to go conventional we still have three percent five percent ten percent uh, programs and obviously you have the 20% uh, program as well for conventional financing. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video of Levine, Arizona, breaking down that city. Uh, once again, I am Victor Worth, a, a local real estate agent here in the area. Now, if you have not done so, click that subscribe button and that bell to get notified when we drop the latest video. Uh, we're just bringing in some home buyer content, home seller content, the Phoenix real estate market updates so you can be mindful when you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in some real estate. Now, hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next video. If you have any questions, email me at victor at freeagentproperties.com. Again, that email address is victor at freeagentproperties.com where we release new videos each week on home buyer tips, home seller tips, 
the Phoenix housing market update so you can be mindful when you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate. We will talk to you soon.